Have you ever wanted to build an MCP server but don't know where to start? Today, we're gonna build one in just a few clicks using Postman. Hey everyone, Sterling here. Today, we're gonna build an MCP server from the ground up using Postman's MCP generator and the public API network with over 100,000 publicly available APIs. Then we're gonna test it in Postman's MCP client. And finally, we're going to integrate that into our cloud desktop. Let's get started. And before I start, I wanna shout out all of our viewers. Thank you for those who commented on the previous video where I called out a mistake I've made. Let's rectify that today. Going into Postman, we're I mean, gonna to go to our public API network and we're gonna view all public APIs. And then we're gonna go down to MCP generator. And like my previous video, I'm gonna to go to CoinGecko. All right, we go into CoinGecko and with just a few simple clicks, I'm gonna create and build our MCP server. We're gonna to go to the public API, We'll go to trending, simple, and search, and add requests. Now let's generate. And in just a few moments, we have a generated MCP server. So let's download it and open it. Okay, we're in our downloads folder, and I personally like to rename these. So I'm gonna call this coin gecko MCP. We'll unzip it. And then I'm gonna drop that into my demos folder. Now from here, I'm going into my terminal and let's ls, so let's just double check it's there and we'll open it up. And I've opened everything up in cursor. Let's take a look at some of the files. So the MCP server, this is the actual file that is our MCP server. So this has everything that Postman has generated for you for all the tools that you've added from our MCP generator. The only thing left to do is run npm install. Okay, we've got our node modules there and we're gonna copy the path. Now let's go back into Postman and check this in our MCP client. Now that we're back in Postman, I'm gonna go to my workspace. We're gonna click on new and MCP. And let's close this collection down for now, we don't need it. And we're gonna type node, then we're gonna connect to our MCP server. And we'll do all requests in this collection, no worries. And we're connected, super cool. Now I should be able to see all the tools that are available to me and I can ask a question. So let's go search queries, let's query Bitcoin. And we're just gonna double check that this all works. I hit run. I've got, it looks like I've got all the coins coming back. Let's save this into a new collection. We're gonna call this Coin Gecko MCP, and the collection will just be MCP servers. Now I can share this with my team. Now let's integrate this into Cloud Desktop and see it working in real time. Inside of Cloud, we're gonna open up the developer tools. We're gonna go to developer and we're gonna edit the config. So in this case, we're gonna open this up and that's gonna open up in cursor. And in the readme package, you're gonna see if we scroll down into our MCP server, you're gonna see exactly what we need to add to Claude's, uh, to Claude's desktop config. So I've already gone ahead and done this. So I've got coin gecko and we've got the command node and we've got our argument is MCP server. This is our direct path. So we'll just double check that is there. Good to go. And now we're gonna quit Claude and reopen it. We're back in Claude. And I'm just gonna double check. I have CoinGecko. Now to make sure this is all working properly, I am gonna turn web search off. So now when I ask, what is the current price of Bitcoin from CoinGecko? This is tapping into our MCP server. And there we go. The current price of Bitcoin according to CoinGecko. What other coins are available that are similar to Bitcoin. Wow, we've built an MCP server with just a few clicks and integrated it into Claude's desktop app. This is how easy it is to build an MCP server inside of Postman. So what MCP servers are you excited to build? Leave a comment below to tell us what we should build next. And if you found this helpful, hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.